Hi everyone, it's time for another one of my amazing nail varnish tutorial videos. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use mathematics to make your nail varnish more interesting. Uh, and inspired by the recent trend for a fourth nail glitter, uh, I had to think about this, I was like, well why just the fourth nail? Why not do this on any of your nails? And it turns out that if you have five fingers on your hand, uh, then you have either glitter or not glitter on each of your fingers. You can have two times two times two times two times two is 32 different combinations of glitter on your nails, which means you can use this to write messages, you can encode letters of the alphabet, you can encode numbers, and all you need is a way to assign a combination of glitter to a particular letter or number. And it turns out the easiest way to do this is using binary, using computer code. The binary system uses ones and zeros to represent numbers, but in our case we use one to mean glitter and zero to mean no glitter. Now it's quite straightforward to get a glitter effect on your nails. Uh, what you can do if you're feeling particularly lazy is you can just use a regular nail varnish, obviously start with a base coat uh, and then a solid colour and on top of that you can just use a glittery top coat. So some of your nails will be glittery top coat, some of your nails will be regular clear top coat and you can use this to kind of create a pattern of glittery and not glittery. If you're really serious you can use a powdered glitter to glitter your nails. I like to use quite a fine powdered glitter and I managed to find this set of 12 different colours on eBay for pretty cheap. You can also sometimes get sets, so this set of glitter and matching nail varnish was only a pound in Primark. Uh, but it's up to you. It's good to use a colour that matches the colour of the nail varnish that you're using because then it blends in more nicely. You'll need to choose your glitter and put some out in a small flat container like this soy sauce dish. You could use a milk bottle top. I'm just using the lid of this Casio FX83 MS. You need to put some glitter out in the tray, then start off with a clear base coat, put a single coat of your coloured nail varnish and while it's still wet, press your finger carefully into the glitter. Make sure you cover the whole nail, lift it out. You can then shake off any excess glitter, maybe use a blusher brush to get rid of any spare glitter around the sides, and then very carefully, using your thumb, you can press the glitter on just to make sure it all sticks, but be careful not to smudge it. Then you just need to finish it off with a couple of coats of clear top coat. It's quite useful when you do this to work over some kind of paper just so that when you've brushed all the glitter off you can collect it together nice and easily. So I'm using this Claude Shannon paper on information theory. Now we need to just work out which of our nails to put glitter on in order to encode a secret message. And the binary system means that each combination of glitter and not glitter corresponds to one number between 0 and 31. All you need to do is assign each of your fingers a number. So this finger is 1, then 2, then 4, then 8, then 16 each time the number doubles. And these powers of two, you can use them to add up to make any number. So for example, if I put glitter on this nail and this nail, that would give me the number five because I've got one and four. Here's another example. If I have this finger and this finger, that's an eight and a four, which means 12. And if I was converting that to letters of the alphabet, that would be L. I've assigned them this way around because one is the smallest digit and of course the little finger is the smallest digit. So you can remember that it starts with one on the little finger and gets bigger as you go towards your thumb. With five fingers I can do any number between one and 31, which means that with two hands I could do a birthday with a number on each hand or an anniversary. I could do letters of the alphabet if I say A equals one, B equals two and so on, so I could have someone's initials on my two hands. So here's my hands showing a 24 and a four for my birthday. Uh, here's my boyfriend's initials. Uh, anything that you want you can combine these using uh, glitter. You could even use two different coloured nail varnishes if you want to, but you'll need a way to remember which is one and which is zero. I've made a sheet that you can print out which has all the numbers and different combinations on it so that you can use it as a quick reference sheet. Or you can just remember one, two, four, eight, sixteen and add the numbers up. If you do manage to do your nails with glitter and binary, then please send me a picture because I would love to do a little video compilation of photos and videos of everyone's nails that they've done uh, and what numbers they've encoded on there. That would be absolutely fantastic. So please send them in. The best part of this is that unless the person who's looking at your nails knows a little bit of maths, there's no way they can guess what your secret message is. 